Okay, we are here on WPPM 106.5 in Philadelphia with Will Gross, a candidate, Democratic candidate for state representative in the 182nd district. Will, thank you so much for being with us. Of course, absolutely. Thanks for having me. So can you tell us a little bit about the 182nd district? Absolutely. So geographically, the lines uh, were recently redrawn because of the census that came out. So uh, there's, it's made up of the second ward, the fifth ward, eighth ward, and the 30th ward. For those of you who don't know the wards uh, exactly as they are, um, basically the lines are from around uh, just south of the art museum down at a diagonal to the Queen Village Bella Vista area. So it, it's Rittenhouse center, uh, around City Hall, down into Bella Vista and a little bit of Queen Village as well at a diagonal. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a cross section of the city. Um, it's, uh, it's a large part of the city. It's, I, would, I would say it's the economic sort of engine of, this, of the state. Um, and um, it's also where I happen to live and where um, in Bella Vista. So it's, uh, it's a very diverse uh, area. And, uh, but that geographically, that's, that's what makes the 182nd. Okay. Um, if elected, what will your primary focus just be in Harrisburg? Sure. So my, my main goals are to achieve a living wage for the state of Pennsylvania, uh, to, to uh, instate a Green New Deal for the state of Pennsylvania, something that's des desperately needed, uh, to ensure that all of our schools are, are healthy. That means that they're free of asbestos, crumbling walls, lead, uh, any sort of poisons, not, but not just that, that they also inspire all of our children. Uh, that health health care and housing are recognized as human rights as well, and that we have safeties uh, uh, protections put in place for all of our small businesses as well. Okay. Now there are other Democrats uh, running in the primary. What makes you stand out? So it's true there are there are four of us running for the seat. It is an open seat. Uh, I, I would say that the thing that differentiates me is that I have been able to achieve a living wage. Uh, at my small business, Ox Coffee. So, and, and it, so it's not just talking about these things. So many of us care about these issues. So many of us uh, want to work on these issues. So many of us want to pour ourselves into these issues. I've actually taken, taken these issues and, and done something about it. I've, I've achieved a living wage, not only for all of the folks here at the cafe, but all the folks that work in the company and, and, and completely. So, but it's not good enough for me that it's just some of us doing that, some of us providing a living wage. We all need to provide a living wage across the state, not just in our communities and in the city here, but across the state as well. I have a plan to address that. I wrote an article about that actually for the Inquirer last year. It would be great if you know if you want to check that out. Um, but just how we will tackle that and how we will do that. But it's so it's basically not just talking about things, but also acting on them as well. Okay. One of the most important relationships the city of Philadelphia has is its relationship with Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. How would you make this relationship better for the benefit of the city and particularly the schools? Sure. Well, I think the first thing we have to do is recognize that these are not just Philadelphia problems, right? Uh, access to healthcare is not a Philadelphia problem. Uh, having a healthy schools, safe schools, not a Philadelphia problem. Uh, having small businesses that are protected, not a Philadelphia problem. The environment, not a Philadelphia problem. These are things that affect all of us. So if you're in Erie, if you're in Harrisburg, if you're in Philadelphia, you have to be able to say you can send your child to a decent school. We can't say that here, and I guarantee that it's not dissimilar from other areas of the state. We have to work on this through commonality, not through uh, looking at each other as 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 uh, adversaries or uh, there are walls around us. Uh, we 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 really got to tackle this as a state, as one people. Many of Philadelphia's leaders believe that the gun violence problem could be solved with better gun regulation. Harrisburg has traditionally disagreed with that. What would you do to facilitate a true conversation about this? I think we, I think, uh, you know, do we have a, gu a gu problem with guns? Yes, we do as a state. Yes, we do. I think we have a problem with guns as a country. I think it's, a, I think this is a, a societal issue. Uh, I think the, the, the thing that we're not talking about is investment in communities. I think that there has been a uh, over, overlooked area here, which is that we have communities in our city here in Philadelphia that are not being invested in. And when you don't invest in communities, when you don't invest in human beings, uh, uh, things don't go well traditionally and historically. We need to do more for the black and brown communities in our city. We need to take care of our people. We need to invest in all of our people, not just some of our people. 
It's, it really bothers me when you can drive up one street in our city and go from a, an area where folks are doing just, just fine and a mile or two up the road, literally up the same road, you're in a completely different situation. That's wrong. We need to address that. We need to, we need to invest in our schools. It starts as, a ch as with the children. If you're a kid and you feel like you don't matter, that does something to you emotionally. And I think we need to address all of that, but it really has to do with, I think, investment in our people. And that means all of our people. So my next question, uh, you, you have touched on this a little bit because uh, it seems to be one of the major themes of your campaign. Yeah. But what will you be able to do in Harrisburg to impact Philadelphia's poverty epidemic? Sure, I think that we all deserve to feel um, happy and feel that there is a sense of purpose in our lives. And I think that there are certain things that are happening right now that take that away from human beings in our communities. Um, I think that if we're going to have long lasting progress for our communities, if we're going to not only recover from the pandemic economically, but also socially, uh, if we're gonna build stronger, safer communities, we have to invest in our people. That's the working people, specifically working people, working families, all of our kids, small businesses, folks that have traditionally been left to the side of the conversation uh, we need to invest in them. Uh, I, I'm, I look towards uh, long-term solutions, not short-term solutions. Um, and it really, it boils down to a living wage, I, which I mentioned, uh, having housing and healthcare as uh, recognized as human rights, a Green New Deal so we have an environment to live in, uh, protections for our small businesses. And also, and I haven't touched on this, but my wife is the vice president of the Philadelphia Museum of Art Union. We need strong unions in this state and in this city. It's vital. It's absolutely vital. What else should people know about you, you or your campaign? Uh, so yeah, so I'm a small business owner. I, I own Ox Coffee uh, on Third Street. Um, I am the son of a Chinese immigrant. My mom immigrated to this country in the early 70s. Uh, my father's a lifelong Philadelphian. We've had a lot of uh, small businesses. My father taught at Temple for 20 years. Um, I am a service worker and I, I don't just own the shop. I work here as well and roast coffee as well. I'm a democratic committee person in the second ward. Uh, I'm the third vice chair and the fundraising chair. And, um, you know, I think that really my involvement in this stems from caring about the community and, and, uh, saying to myself, uh, if I'm not going to do it, uh, no one else is going to do it. And I think that that's something that we all have to adopt. All right. Well, Gross, thank you so much for being with us. Larry, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm.